Go ahead. Yeah, I'll just want you still there. Okay, I'm ready. With, well, just let me know when you're ready. Over. Shooting is it's a huge part of my life. It's been the only thing that I've really been sort of exceptionally uh, talented at. Uh, the whole armoury is incredibly well alarmed and it's, it's automatically set so that shooters can come in and get access to their rifles. So each person has their own locker, They're, only they are allowed access to it, uh, they only have their firearms in it and yeah, they can only come at certain times during the day. It is very secure in here, yes. There are uh, hundreds of thousands of people across the country who have firearms and compete in uh, target shooting sports and it is an in incredibly difficult sport mentally. Uh, it's a thinking man's sport, very deliberate, um, very controlled and we do take it quite seriously um, and yeah it's, it's a very accurate sport. rules when you're firing the rifle, so when you close the bolt, as you uh, would have seen when you watched me shoot, that the rifle was pointing directly at the target, um, just in case it accidentally does go off, it's going to be going into a safe direction. Um, and if there are large groups of people on the firing point, then there will be a range officer who will monitor safety. It's a really, really great sport. Like People help each other out. So if somebody uh, is kind of struggling with technique then, or they're new to the sport or if they're youngsters, people will go out of the way to help them. Yeah, the equipment's probably one of the most expensive sort of equipments for sport, sporting wise. Uh, rifles, you can look in between anywhere from £1,000 to £3,000. Sometimes you have hard days, you have good days, bad days. Um, like if you have a bad day, then you sort of put it out of the way. Um, and carry on and then if you have a really good day that motivates you for the next um, and it's just brilliant fun really it's all of the things coming together. So I run the shooting for Surrey ACF so 650 cadets are at my disposal but at the moment I have a team of about 10 that I am training and we're going right back to basics. The beauty about shooting because it's such an adaptive sport is um, you can start in your early teens and you can carry on shooting up until your late 80s, early 90s. During the Imperial competition, our youngest shooter was 14, our eldest was 92. I see it lasting another generation in the way that it exists at the moment. I don't think another 30 years you will see what we have today. Uh, maybe Bisley can exist a bit longer than that, but I do think it's, it's dying, basically. We are trying actively to improve media coverage and during the Commonwealth Games, BBC really did not show that much shooting, so the majority of the medals were won in shooting from British people. There was a huge media, media campaign that went on uh, over social media. So a friend of mine set up a web page uh, called the Barry Budden Broadcasting Corporation. When it came to the Commonwealth Games, as an example, we didn't feel was being represented enough. So we decided to set up a Facebook page and within two days we had over 1,200 organic uh, Facebook likes um, and managed to get a database system up so we could 
do videos, interviews, audio, and full multimedia package for the shooting community, and it seemed to work well. There's something we wish to continue into the future. Now, with the right sort of adjustments, with um, a cooperation from the media, we could be becoming so much more exciting. But I think there's also an element of the fact that we're not particularly sexy sport. If you look over the last 10 years, the kind of coverage that the media has given to the sports is diminishing. Biggest problem that I face with shooting is funding. The sport doesn't receive any, hardly any funding, which is such a shame because there are so many good shooters out there and teams are, are obviously selected on talent, but a big factor is, can you afford to go on the tour? And I am that dedicated to this sport and I love it that much that I actually was quite seriously ill over the summer. I spent 12 days in hospital with C. difficile. I was there during the shooting competition where there's about a thousand people that come from around the world. I basically decided that I was going to get better because I was going to get out on the Tuesday night and shoot a match called the Queen's Prize on the Wednesday. Uh, I actually shot, shot well and made it to the final of which only a hundred people make even surprised myself when I placed the highest that I have ever done and I came 22nd. It doesn't get the coverage that it should do. It's, it's hard because it's not the best spectator sport. But I think that's a um, view shared by a lot of shooters, really. It, it could be a lot better. There's always been a stigma when it comes to shooting. We know that. But it's something that is very accessible. When it comes to target shooting, it really is. Our rifles are the same as a hockey stick or a golf club. It's the tool we use to do the job. You've got to remain as calm as possible to kind of get myself in the zone and I've got to cut out all external thoughts. You've got to be accurate to a tenth of a millimetre and doing things in order uh, kind of, of helps the rhythm um, which makes you shoot better. When I'm on the range, uh, it's just, it's a great place to be, especially when it's sunny and warm. It's just, yeah, it's, it's a great place to be. I'm incredibly passionate about this sport and a lot of people get quite twitchy when I mention the words rifle or shooting or firearms. Whatever they believe from the media, is not quite justified. 